Hey, my name is Ryan Adams and today I want to share three of my favorite plant-based meals. Each of these is under 600 calories and the best part takes 15 minutes or less to put together. Enjoy. First up, we're doing a simple sushi bowl. This is one of my favorite dishes right now. Here's exactly what you'll need. We've got 70 grams of dry weight brown rice here. You could also use sushi rice if you want to be traditional with it. Um, this equates to about one cup or 180 grams cooked weight. Next up, three quarters of a cup or 100 grams of shelled edamame, fresh or frozen. Well, there's a couple of discrepancies here. Obviously, number one, this is not shelled edamame. All they had in the pods, uh, all they had in the store rather was pods the other day. So I'm going to have to cook them as they are and then pop them out. And of course, this is quite obviously not three quarters of a cup, but a cup's worth because I'm accounting for the pod space. One half of a medium avocado, approximately 60 grams without the stone. Some cucumber, I'm gonna use about a quarter of a full cucumber, this is already a half, so I'm gonna use about a quarter. Half of a medium carrot, which I'm actually going to grate into the bowl. Then a couple of little radishes there. And lastly, we've got our sauerkraut. And this one in particular, this is delicious. A garlic and dill sauerkraut, if you can find that in the UK, it's really good. And then we're also gonna do a very simple maple sriracha sauce, which I'll show you how to put together in a second. So step one, cook the rice as per the instructions on the packet. In the meantime, I'm gonna lightly boil the edamame. I prefer shelled edamame because it's done for you, but as I said, they are out. Regardless of whether you get them in the pods or not, these don't take long to cook, maybe three to four minutes. I throw in a little bit of sea salt there. In the meantime, I'm chopping my cucumber, finely slicing the radishes, grating the carrot, getting the avocado ready. It's not a bad one here, it's looking all right. And next up, we've got our maple sriracha sauce. One tablespoon of sriracha here one tablespoon of maple or agave syrup, two tablespoons of low sodium soy sauce, two tablespoons of water. And you can just stir that together by hand. By this time, we're now draining the rice once it's done, and now the edamame as well. And you can eat edamame straight from the shell, by the way, once it's cooled down a little, just pop the pod into your mouth and squeeze the beans out. A little bit of sea salt on them goes well, but that's not really ideal for our nice little bowl here. So I'm gonna have to pop them out by hand to about three quarters of a cup's worth. Now we're bringing everything together, rice, edamame, cucumber slices, avocado, grated carrot, radishes. And the secret ingredient, I actually found these in my local health food shop, sushi ginger, just pickled ginger slices, the kind you get when you go for sushi. These are so good. So I'm just gonna throw on a few, a, little, a, little, a, little, a few of these. Oh yeah, excuse fingers. There we go, looking good. And of course, the old saucy, drizzling this all over. There we go. I just realized, had a moment, we forgot our sauerkraut. So a little bit of sauerkraut there to finish. And it'll be a, a colorful, colorful culinary delight, George. It will be, won't it? Yeah, like I said, six out of 10 for a presentation. It looks shocking, doesn't it? But I just love these bowls where you just throw stuff together, mix it all in. I love that. Doesn't look too fancy, but this fits the bill. Next up, we're doing lentil bolognese. This has been a staple of mine for years. It's exactly what you'll need. Two and a half ounces or 75 grams of dry weight whole wheat or brown rice pasta. I've gone for fusilli, but you can do spaghetti, penne, whatever you like. Roughly half a can of brown slash green or beluga lentils, which equates to about two thirds of a cup. That's canned, not dried weight by the way, which is about 120 grams. One whole can of chopped tomatoes. That's how you say it, by the way. It's not tomato, it's tomato. This is optional, but it does add some flavor, so I'd recommend one tablespoon of tomato puree, one half of this small round onion, one medium carrot, a good old handful of mushrooms, clove or garlic. Seasoning-wise, we're gonna do a teaspoon of oregano, oregano. We're gonna do a teaspoon, just insulting my friends across the pond in this one. We're gonna do a teaspoon of uh, dried basil. I'm gonna use salt to taste, of course, and all oh, the magic ingredient, nutritional yeast. Using a nonstick pan, saute the onion, garlic, and carrot in a splash of water for four to five minutes. And when you saute in water, just be sure to keep an eye on the pan and add more water if needed. And adding the now drained and rinsed lentils, the mushrooms, chopped tomatoes, tomato puree, if you're using the teaspoon of oregano, teaspoon of basil or so. And then we're just gonna stir it all in there and reduce the heat and let it simmer for around 10 minutes at least. Now, the longer you leave it, the better taste-wise, but obviously this is a 15 minute meals video, so we're shortcutting. In the meantime, prepare the pasta according to the instructions on the packet. It should be eight to 10 minutes or so. And once done, drain and combine with the lentil marinara sauce. 
a little bit of salt on there, slightly too much. And of course, we're doing nutritional yeast. And again, zero out of 10 for presentation, but that's not what we're about. Simple food. This is a good family kind of sharing meal. Just good home cooked dishes. Throw it all together. It's about the nutrients. It's about how it tastes. Bit of that nutritional yeast there to finish. And finally, the most simple recipe today to put together. This one is a home run with my clients. It's the chickpea no tuna salad sandwich. And this is the bread we're using. I appreciate this only applies to those of you in the UK. This is from Waitrose. This is a rye and wheat dark sourdough bread. It's actually not my usual. This is my kind of backup plan. Let's say I usually like the Bertinet bakery range if you're familiar. If you happen to be in the US, the Ezekiel and Dave's Killer range uh, are pretty decent options, especially Ezekiel. If you're anywhere else in the, in the world, excuse me, you're looking for whole wheat rye or sourdough breads with minimal added ingredients. First up, probably the most predictable ingredient aside from the bread. We're doing a can of chickpeas here. I'm just gonna drain, rinse, throw them in this bowl. Now, some people like to leave these whole, but I actually like to just, not fully mash them, but just smash them up a little bit here. And it's worth saying, this, um, this filling mixture, is two servings worth. So I'm gonna make all of this and uh, then use it for a sandwich now and then a sandwich tomorrow. And then we have one small red onion, finely diced, one celery stalk chopped, one tablespoon of Dijon mustard. Obviously be conservative with this if you don't like too much zing. And then three tablespoons of tahini. For those that don't know, tahini is just sesame seed paste. Sesame seeds are really, really good for you. As folks tend to know though, generally on my channel, if you are looking to slim down right now, tahini is incredibly calorific. So um, yes, be diligent, I should suggest with your three tablespoons here, be honest. One tablespoon of maple syrup, I'm gonna have to work very hard and very patiently at this one because there's barely any left. Quarter teaspoon of garlic powder. As you can see, I kind of eyeball a lot of this stuff. Pinch of salt, Himalayan salt works best in this, by the way, but I don't have any. And lastly, a little squeeze of lemon juice there. And then we're just mixing it all up. There we go then. Remember, this is two servings, so George is uh, lucky enough to be able to share some of this with me now. I'm just gonna fill this up. So I say, the more you mash, mash up, excuse me, the um, the chickpeas, the more this kind of sits on the bread quite nicely. And then a couple of slices of tom. There we go, look at this. A couple of bits of romaine on there to finish. There we go, that'll do us. Oh yeah. There we go, look in there, George. Show the people what we're working with. How's that looking? Very good. So that's it, three pretty simple, frankly, very unfancy, as you can see here, meals, nothing too elaborate, that are pretty quick to throw together. If you're trying to lose weight right now, you can check out my free plant-based weight loss checklist. I'll put the link to that in the description box down below. But hopefully this gives you some ideas and inspiration about what to try yourself on a plant-based diet. See you in the next one.